Boom shakalaka, the perfect storm is brewing for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Find out what's next. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including how the perfect storm is set up and where things could potentially head in the very near future. Before we get into it, guys, Make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now today, fear and greed at 55 for the last month, just going sideways in this neutral to low greed territory. The overall market down almost 1% today. Bitcoin at 29.796, Ethereum at 18.71, XRP 73 cents, BNB at 2.41, Cardano 31 cents, Dogecoin 7 cents, Solana $24, and Tron 8 cents. And if you want any top coins based on AI, they would be Compound, Ave, Ren, Hetera, and Cosmos Hub. And you can check out Token Metrics for yourself. There is a free trial down in the description. Now, Bitcoin today, for the past month, continuing sideways. Things to note, the last time we had a golden cross of the 1,500-day moving average, price did crash all the way down to this orange line, which right now is at $26,000. But at that time, the orange line was coincidentally with this white line, which right now is intersecting with the green 100-day moving average at roughly $28,500. Could we see a return there? Certainly possible. But let's take a look at what's really going on. Willie Wu saying here, there is a lot of support underneath the territory where Bitcoin price is. The dense areas in this chart indicate areas where investors are validating the price buying and moving to longer-term self-custody. There's a very strong area of price validation below here, which acts as price support. So will the price go down? It could, but likely, probably not. Not by very much. As a matter of fact, when we take a look at this, the total supply last active two to three years ago, based on this, the two to, year, uh, two to three year supply activity is skyrocketing and is now pivoting. You can see here that historically, when it skyrockets and then pivots, that's historically point right before massive bull runs, which you can see with these purple rectangles. We are in that territory once again, the pinnacle point. Take careful notice of the pinnacles. Get ready for something big. There is something big on the verge of happening right here. Even if we take a look at this chart, which is not comparing Bitcoin with US dollars, this is comparing Bitcoin with M2 money supply, which is a very interesting way to take a look at it. Now, where we are right now, very strong resistance. You want to know why? Because this was support back here and support back here, and it was resistance right here. So a lot of money moving hands at those levels. But once we break through there, this would be very similar to what happened when Bitcoin broke through this previous resistance, resistance level right there on its way up to a new all-time high. This is pretty much the last level of resistance for Bitcoin. And if we want to take a look at Bitcoin versus another type of money, how about versus the Fed's balance sheet? If we take a look, we are in this ascending channel right here. And guess what? We are on the bottom of it. That means it goes up. Yes, that's right. The price goes up. There's one way, the golden opportunity you've been waiting for. Every chart is looking phenomenal for Bitcoin. And we also have some divergences that could suggest price to go higher. We see the Bitcoin price going sideways here over the past few months. As at the same time, the percent balance on exchanges, on all exchanges, is de decreasing dramatically. Now, this divergence should send price a lot higher, but it's a lagging thing. So we'll see this first, and then eventually the price will shoot off. Bitcoin just did something for the first time in its history, a very bullish cross first time in its history. The first golden cross of the MA20 and 200 for Bitcoin on the weekly, and the market's a ghost town going sideways and down. No one's talking about it. Don't worry. Most people will wake up when we're significantly higher than we are right now. Now, the last two times that this was even close to crossing was back here in 2019 and back here in 2015. After this, Bitcoin 100 x After this, I don't know. Bitcoin went up a lot. It wasn't 100x, but it was pretty darn close. And another long-term chart that's pretty good. I love hiking a sheet candles because they very clearly depict trends. Like green, market's going up. Red, market's going down. Well, on the three-week time frame, it just flipped green. That means 
market's going up, either for a short time or a long time, market is going up. And we're going to have some very dramatic moves coming for Bitcoin. And not only for Bitcoin, because altcoins are signaling massively now to this chart. Very, very interesting. Top three crypto assets. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP are on the brink of a golden cross on a three-day time frame. All three firing at the same time has never happened before. Very, very interesting. Could be an explosion, something unlike we've never seen in history before, which brings us to some potential targets. Based on this parabola price target, according to diminishing parabolas, $130,000 is the next target. Again, these are diminishing parabolas. But if we use an even more simple method than that, the 1.618 FIB, which guess what? Called the top of the last cycle. It also didn't call the top of the previous cycle, but it called the pent ultimate peak of the last cycle. Well, guess what? That 1.618 FIB right now, $178,000 for Bitcoin. And if that's not enough, if you're still all butthurt because you're like, I needed a million dollar Bitcoin, well, just wait till 2029 or 2031 because based on this logarithmic regression, it's going to hit their worst case in 2031, best case in 2029 or earlier. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push the like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.